You gotta say hi. Hey, everybody. We're still messing Sorry. around with the settings. Okay, pulling out some knives. You wanna use the big light? There's, you there's... Use the... Um, it's kind of dark, but I think if I get out of the light, it's okay. Well, it's a little shady. Yeah, turn on the big one. Okay. And I will straighten out my camera and my mat. Oh, that's better. He knocked over Santa. Well, let's see if anybody's joined us. I will go to your live. Check it out. I am way off. <laughs> way. There we go. You can move the camera up, too, if you want more space. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. And that plant... Plant dirt. Plant dirt. Is that way off? No, no. No, I think I can get them all in there. Oh. Sorry, guys. John says hi. Mark Herrera says hi. Hey guys. Hey guys. Uh, Chad's here. I am missing Manzi my penguin. Here. Okay, bear with me. My have for some reason my mat. Let's move this up. My mat is warped. So there we go. Oops. Let's go up. Is that better? Kinda. You're off. You're outside the edges of the map now. Man. Jason Brown, what's up? What's up, guys? Crazy Knife Freak, Peter B. What's going on, bud? Hey, Ohio. Joseph. Hey! Artisan in the house. Russell! I need a Hank. Apparently, we need a Hank. There We're is. still working on it. Yeah. Sorry guys, lagging. It's been a crazy day. It's been a day, right? All right. Do 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 do. There's dirt everywhere. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see if I move my mat. It's no. No, yeah, we got it worked out. Yeah. Anybody know how to uh, unwarp a mat? Hey, monster. Hey, monster. Joseph, Ohio, Jason, hey, Crazy Knife Freak. The whole gang is here. Right? Alex Hi, Lisa. We steep in papers from work. Oh, my God, tell her I know that feeling. Especially end of the year, it's crazy. Put it in the sun on a flat surface. We would, except there's, there's no sun. There's no sun, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know. With we, the rain. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's been a while since we've had a live. This is, would be our third one ever. Third one ever, and I think the other two were both on uh, Therapeutic Edge's channel. Yeah. That guy. Yeah, he, you know. <laughs> Whatever. You gotta watch out for that guy. Yeah, John, I think we're gonna do that. We'll, we'll lean into the blow dryer and the heavy books and weights here in a bit. We were... yeah. Or, you know, she could just get a new mat. <laughs> Just I saying. probably should just get a new mat. Do you guys like this gray color, or should I get a different color? Sorry, I'm, like, stripping my clothes off, trying to... Oh, we should turn the camera around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were laughing out loud. Best knife on the table. Oh. So, okay, let me just start by saying that <clears throat> a lot of people right now um, are not working, have lost their jobs, uh, whatever's going on. Or, I mean, you know, we had a lot of medical issues and, and so we have a lot of, a lot of bills. Um, we know a lot of people, other people have too. So kind of what I wanted to really do tonight was just look at some of my favorite budget knives, ones that are definitely affordable. Um, because as I said, you know, like right now we're, we're on a buying freeze, so we can't get anything, but, um, 
I just wanted to take it, so, take a look, like I said, at some of the ones that I really liked and um, ones that, you know, you can get. You can get on a budget. You can get them um, at great prices. Favorite one on the table. Who asked that? That was somebody, but Pete walked away. So let me see if Sorry, I can. Sorry, guys. It was, and I am not left-handed. Okay, who asked me favorite one on the table? Sorry, going back and looking. Um, I am not sure. What was the question? Which one's my favorite knife on the table? That's a really, really tough one. We were short a couple. Is that on the camera? Yeah. Oh, now you're just going to make it even worse. <laughs> um, okay, let's do it this way. Favorite slim knife? You can do it. Okay, so really, the helical is pretty awesome. I love this knife. Um... Let's do let's do the real slims. The real slims. Well, that one's not super slim, but I okay. If we go really slim, so we want to do a really long, sharp, pointy blade. Oh yeah. I'm. Wow. Well. Okay, I'm gonna say right now. I'm gonna have to go with the sun cut. Yeah, that's a neat little knife. I love this knife. This knife has just been, it's a joy. It's fun. It is super, super fidgety. I love that. Um, the price on the Sun Cut, you cannot beat it. So the price on the Sun Cut is actually 40 bucks. I mean, come on now. $40 for a great budget flipper knife. I would say running a close second. This is tough. This is really tough. Um, running a close second would be the Exarch. Um, and, you know, again, this is pretty much just like the Helical. So it's very similar except for the blade shape. But this is also a really good knife. Fits good in hand. Now, the thing that I like about this one, you guys, is, is if you've seen a lot of my videos, I'm a huge fan of the uh, just plain rectangular shape because I just feel like it's great for any size hand. And I'm sorry, these are these are all like <clears throat> my users. In fact, I have tape stuck on one of them. <laughs> yeah, don't let her fool you. She she uses a lot more of her knives than I do. <laughs> well, and to be fair, I I run a um, electrical construction company. I'm I'm the office manager there, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm cutting and doing, and you know it may not be a lot of hard use. Um, once in a while, and I know somebody have absolutely freaked out at work when I pulled my knife out to strip some wire. They said, don't do that. Well, guess what? It works. And I'm not going to use a $200 knife to strip my wire. I'm going to use one of these. Um, okay, so my first pick would be the Sun Cut at running at $40. Um, the Civivi X Arc, that's, you know, $50. And why don't I just go through the prices? Let's just open these all up really quick. And let's just go through some of the prices on these, and then we can talk about them a little bit more. How's that? Does that work? And make sure these are all still on camera. Ooh, and I added my new sticker. So I thought I would just be all special for you guys. Okay, this is obviously not mine, but I love it. And we'll get to that one. <laughs> Who do you think that... Look at all the dirt on this mat. Sorry, we were just moving plants around too, so... All right, you guys. Let's go through the little list right here really quick. So going from the top down, of course, you have the Civiti... I'm sorry, the CJRB. Centros. Um, the Centros. Mm -hmm. We've got the Civiti Exarc. We've got the Small Honey Badger. The Ferrum Forge Stinger. And the QSP Penguin. And over on this side, over here, we have the CGRB. I forgot the name of this one. Gobi. The Gobi. I should have known that because that's a very Persian one, right? Mm -hmm. um, we have the Bird Crow 2, the Civivi Bull Mastiff, 
the Suncut Sidious, and the CRKT Helical. Now, again, the reason I chose all of these is you are, they're very budget. You're under $100, and most of these are under $50. <laughs> you guys aren't wrong. The the Bull Mastiff is mine. Oh, wait, we have yours, though. Wait. Do you have mine? Yeah, we're just disorganized. Oh. If you guys want an organized and, and really focused live, go to another channel. <laughs> we're not that. Almost as good as our, um, we don't edit our videos. Yeah. And I, you know what? We don't edit the videos and that makes it fun because we have a blast. Um, you know, the dog squeaks are toy. You guys tell us when our laundry's done. Um, but you know, that's, that's Here, kind of the thing. Now it's your there, stuff. There, now it's all, see, that's so much better. That is better. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, that's better. So these are all more my size. Now I do have larger knives, and I do have more expensive knives, but um, what should I get between 30 and 60? I want to get one next month. Okay, so then there's questions for you. Do you like a flipper? Do you like a liner lock or a frame lock? Do you prefer G10, carbon fiber, Alex's? <laughs> ADD live stream. That's right, John. So, Alex, what do you prefer? Is he going to answer us? Eventually. Uh-oh. Why, why? Can I? Can you? Of course. Well, yeah, go for it, Russell. You should have come over here, man. We should have had you here. So, for all you guys out there, that's that's Artisan Cutlery. JB! But to, but to us, that's just Russell. He's just this dude we know. <laughs> right. Savivi Praxis or Backlot. Well, those are both good, too. Did Alex ever answer? No. Artisan Cutley, I want to hear it. Boom. $50 with... Oh, oh with the new propri proprietary steel. Can you say that again? Proprietary steel. That's good. Wait a minute, but he, did he say what? No, he didn't send me a... Uh, hey, buddy, if you uh, send me a link, email it to me or whatever, and I'll put it up. JB in the house. What is up, JB? Oh, wait. Welcome, welcome. Okay, but... But Russell, what's forty dollars? Did we miss it? Whips. Not hit whoops. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Russell show has gone off the rails. Let's go back to you and me. Okay. <laughs> so, Alex, you said you're looking for something between thirty and sixty. Yeah, man, but that's impossible. Um, like, what size do you want? You want a little well, knife or a big knife? Do you yeah. want, a, you know? I mean, if you guys want to look, I would call... Let me just line them up on the lines for you. I'm going to call Good. all of these... Hold on. What? Jason Brown wants me to say, say proprietary five times fast, and the only thing I can think to do is proprietary five times fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm here all week. Tip your waitresses. Tip me. Tip tip your hostesses. Host hostesses? Your, your, your hostesses. All right. So I'm here? lining them up so they're lengthwise... <laughs> Because I, for those of you that don't know, oh, I am freaking OCD. Oh, and there's the pup pup. Hi, puppy. Um, cheater. I'm still waiting for Alex to answer. Where did he go? Move on. Alex can come back. Okay. Um, if anybody else, I am just so messy. If anybody else is looking now, you know, it's interesting. Every knife on this table is a liner lock. I didn't even think about that. Well, it's just now. There aren't that many, like, budget frame locks. Are, yeah, budget frame locks are rare. Yeah, and th when they are, they're usually steel. And, right? I don't know. Wah, 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 wah. Where the are white all the white women Jim, at? Holy crap. Jimmy. Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy <laughs> Slash? Oh, my goodness, me. What is going on, brother? All the white women. Well, Jimmy. there's one right here. That is so rad. Like Thank you so much for stopping by, Jimmy. Oh, oh my God. God. Anyways, so you guys, like I said, doggy. Somebody give our dog a quaalude. We can't. We don't give our dog. We don't give our dog drugs. Right? No dog drugs. Give her a cat. Where's the cats? All right. So first I wanted to know what Russell was talking about. On the um, we all want to know what Russell's yeah, talking about. Yeah, on his whoops or whips, as he puts it. But I would have to say again, like I said, my favorite thin knife right now, of the you know the stabbier, is going to be the Sun Cut. I am really loving this one, and like I said, it is super super friendly. Um, it rides in the pocket. It is so smooth. Um, 
you really can't go wrong with it. And, you know, it's basically a sun cuts, basically a Civivi, which is basically a Wii. So actually Ohio's right. The best budget frame, one of the best, but one of the best budget frame locks is the, is the rake, the P801. That is a really good knife. I don't have one anymore, or I would yeah, I whip it out say. and show it to you because we're just whipping stuff out. We're we're whipping stuff out. Yeah. What am I whipping out? What are, you have things to whip out? I'll. You'll fuck. Never mind. <laughs> no f word. Hey, oh, I heard that. You yeah, almost. Almost. Blew that. This almost blew is a family that. friendly show. If your family is screwed up and needs therapy. Simply knives. Is your woman home right now? Your girlfriend? Is she there? Do you live together? Don't tell Mrs. Slash. I hope that one day I have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I miss you. Uh, man. No f bombs. That was that was that was very that was, close. That was, that was that was really close. They're big red, and I and I didn't actually say the friendly, hey, fantastic, Chris. functional word. Luthie's gonna whip things out too. Hey, Chris. Damn. Okay, Alex. Was busy. Did I miss the answer to what I asked for the forty to six? Now it's forty to sixty. Okay, first no, no. you no, asked. It's okay, but, but <laughs> we asked you a bunch of questions. Like the main one is liner lock, frame lock, liner lock, frame lock. Big what knife, kind of material? Knife. What blade what shape? What are you looking for, dude? Our dog is. Here's the thing, guys. What we've Peter learned. Toy, please. Is... Sorry. What we've learned is we cannot sit down. This is a no fun house. You are... And if you heard that, that was the chandelier. <laughs> you are not allowed to have fun in this house. This is a no fun zone. Okay, still waiting for him to answer. Moving on up. Moving on up. What do you guys want to talk about? This Which is my. One? This honestly is probably one of my favorite thirty to sixty. I know. I really do like that. The CGRB Gobi, and they're going to release this. Uh, Russell was just talking about it. In their new AR RPM nine steel, all blacked out. Um, oh, is that what he was talking about? Was the Gobi? Yeah. Oh. And in fact, I, I ordered one. They're on Amazon right now. Um, I'll go find the link and post it. After you throw the dog's toy, so it should be quiet. It's not gonna work. You... Oh, monster thought that was you growling. <laughs> <laughs> we need more Ria customizations. Oh yes, now the Ria. Do I have a Ria somewhere? Oh my gosh, I don't know where it is. The Rhea is a spectacular knife. I love that knife. And that would be really cool to see. Now the cat's trying to come up. That would be really cool to see Christine drop the ludes. Yes, Jimmy Slash, we do need Rhea's with lefty thumb studs. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to go over. Excuse, excuse the cat. Come on, come on through. Come on through, Darren. Keep going. Ah, kitty, kitty, keep going. Um... So the other thing I've been trying to show you guys is the lefties, all my lefties. I have a lot of lefties out there, and um, a lot of you guys have been asking for um, left-handed knives. Now, majority of the knives on the table, well, yeah, majority of the knives are on the table that are right-hand, left-hand, tip of carry, okay? So I think this one is not... No, that one is not. So the Fair and Forge Stinger is not. The QSP is. The um, the Sen Cut is not. The Sen Cut is. Oh no, wait, it is. I'm sorry. The Sen Cut is a right left hand, and the Helical is not. So really, there's only two that I have on the table that are not left handed friendly. But um, for those of you that don't know, and if you didn't see the post, I know that, and it, it's not a budget knife, but I do know that they are making, uh, Concepts making the Warrior a left-handed only knife, which I thought was really cool. So um, I had reached out to Joyce a couple times and asked her about that. And, you know, I think, I think the knife makers should make a few that are maybe just left-handed or make them all ambidextrous for those of you who are lefties also. There lefties we go. Lefties are not to be trusted. I'm just kidding. And this is just a fabulous knife, too. The Feldspar. Now, you guys won't find a black one. I did that myself. That used to be brown, but I don't do brown. I had mine the other day. I think I did a what's in the pocket on mine. Uh -huh. I had my little one. The brown. The brown. Oh, it's not on the, it's not on the picture. So mm -hmm. I got to say something. If you'd have told me two years ago, a year and a half ago, that we'd be sitting here on a live on YouTube with all you nice folks watching, with Jimmy Slash and Big Red, joining in for the fun, I'd have said you're crazy. Because these are the channels that got us started. For sure. 
I absolutely wouldn't. Oh, you, you know what? what? That makes sense, Jimmy Slash. He's saying that he doesn't need exactly left-handed dice, but left-handed thumb studs, because a lot of people I know, and I didn't think about that, but a lot of people I know that are left-handed use their right hands. Yeah. So that would be smart. That would be smart. Well, the, the real problem, of course, is that on right-handed knives, the cutout is big it's enough for the right. thumb stud, but over here it's a little short. But I got to tell you, man, on this goby, I think you'd be just fine. That's not a goby. Oh, on the felt bar. Here, here's the goby. I know what I'm talking about. You want the goby? No, I just want to okay. go home. <laughs> you are home. Oh, I just want to go to bed. The all black. Oh, um, you need to get that. Russell, you need to send the link over to Peter so he can post it up there. No, I'll find it. Okay. Yeah, I'll find it. You just, just, you just mess I know, I'm just playing with stuff. You checking that out? So, one that a lot of people aren't, or maybe don't um, talk about them that much, is bird knives. Now, I know a lot of people weren't super crazy about them, but, you know, I've been pretty happy. I do have a few of these. Um, I have the bird, I have the Cara Cara and the Harrier two i think i gave that one away in a giveaway but i had the harrier too and you know these are not bad knives at all and again because i don't really you know hard use my knives hard use my knives um they do what i need them to do and you know structurally they're good their fit and finish is good for a budget knife and i i really don't see a problem with it um i'm not prone to one brand, I'm also not prone, well, as you can see here, I'm also not prone to one type of steel, um, nor one type of size. You know, my favorite blade shape is drop point, obviously, because um, most of my blades are drop point blades. But, um, you know, you come up with something like the helical. I love this. Not my blade shape, but, and it's very, very stiff, and I have lots of boo-boos on my fingers. <laughs> but... I absolutely love this one, you know. Um, yeah, again, I, I I do have to say the favorite blade shape is still the drop point, which is going to take you into the clip point, which is also going to take you into the um, spear point. Um, but, you know, something else comes along like the sheep's foot. I love that one. And I think for me, it depends on how it feels in hand. How does it feel in hand to me? If it's not the blade shape that I'm, you know, most fond of, it's okay to be a different one as long as it feels good in hand to me. Um, what did Chris say? All the black goby with red backspacer does look good. Oh, yeah. The new all black one? Yeah. Yep. Uh, what did Chris say? Chris said, where are all the red knives? Um, well, okay, so... <laughs> you have a lot of color. Yeah. I have a lot of color knives, but they are not in my budget area so really the only my area my budget collection i think my only colored i mean you know the honey badger has a nice little red backspacer but mm, i think my feldspar is brown my exarch is blue yeah i don't think i have a lot of other budget knives the only other ones that i would have in color that would be budget would be some of my slip joints and i have a bunch of those oh i should have brought some of those out i love those yeah, bird JD, knives bird are knives are they're surprisingly yeah. good. And unfortunately, the market has kind of caught up with them. There was a time when fifty dollars, you know, forty five dollars or whatever for uh, a well made sort of sister company to Spiderco was totally worth it. And now companies like that darn CJRB <laughs> and other uh, more sort of budget friendly companies, I think, have come along and sort of stolen their thunder because okay, you get okay. better steel and all sorts of cool stuff right. for less money. I agree. Um, Marshall, under two hundred bucks is budget for me too, but most people don't live in yeah. that world. Yeah, and I've I've done some videos where I'm like, you know, this is a really reasonable price, and I'm like, oh, it's two hundred and five dollars, and people are like, what are you talking about? So again, the reason I'm doing these, I mean, I can go pull out the expensive knives right now, but the reason I wanted to do these, and you know, some have been around for a while or whatever, but um, I don't even. Can you see that one? But the reason I'm doing these is because, you know, right now, Marshall making it rain. Um, <laughs> you know, guys, every, everybody's kind of falling on hard times and, and everybody loves knives. Well, the people in this community, you know, they love knives. They love to have their knives. But, you know, let's be realistic. Not everybody can afford a $200 knife, 
right now. And, you know, so I've been trying to do two things. I've been trying to review more of my budget knives right now. And these go back in my collection, things that may be a little bit older, things that are a little bit newer or current. Um, and, you know, going forward as, as people start doing a little bit better, I'll start going back to the more expensive review. Well, I, I can't say that because I've been doing more expensive reviews too. Right. But, you know, I, I just think it's really important. That... Oh, I kind of guarantee for the next six months, we're going to be doing a lot more budget stuff. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I'll be working more. Mmm, cheddar. What? I'm just participating in the Swiss. Well, uh, making Mar that sweet cheddar. That's right. I'm so glad Marshall stopped by. I know. I haven't seen Marshall. I haven't seen you for a long time, man. It's good to see you here. Lorenzo Medina says hi, WCK. Oh, hey, Lorenzo. Swiss. Gruyere. I like Gruyere. <laughs> well, you're going all fancy pants. That's so good. It is good. Some real stinky gorgonzola. A stinky gorgonzola. I'll tell yes. you, one of the things I like most about doing keto is that I get to eat all the cheeses. Me too. Right. Health bills are tough, Robert. And if you're if you're going through that right now, then man, I feel for you. Really feel for you. And you know, I've um, it's with Pete and I. We don't really go out that much because um, well, COVID. <laughs> well, COVID, and you know, being high risk, and then having having surgery and then having been taking care of my parents. Why would you do that? Did you just squeak that? I did. Are you asking for it? Yes. Um, having parents that I take care of. So Gouda, oh, Gouda smoked Gouda. That is my favorite. And somebody said blue cheese. That's another favorite. Okay. We're just rabbit holing here. We're just going off. But that's We've gone off the rails and into cheese People town. go out. Oh my God, Marshall. People are just so many people out without their masks and saying that this stuff isn't real. I actually was just informed by my parents last night that two of my cousins, three of my cousins, well, two of my cousins and their other halves, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, they actually all tested positive and they don't actually go out. They do go to work, but they do not go out. So, and right now it's, um, all of our hospitals are shutting down right now The for Sticky Gorgonzola Stinky. was my, oh, my dwarf, dwarf priest, priest name right? in World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Put some cheese on the table. <laughs> we could. We have all kinds of cheese here. And see, now I want cheese. We bring the cheese. I really want cheese yeah. now. But I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, you know, a couple cousins and their right. boyfriend, girlfriend all just tested positive for COVID. I had a scare at work. I'm in Central yeah. Company, so we don't shut down. And we had two people that actually have roommates that um, both tested positive for COVID. So that was a little bit scary. You know, you're trying to deal with that and <laughs> and make sure. And there's the cat. Just lost a sister to COVID. Oh, wow. That sucks, Robert. I hope she's hanging in there. And when you said, I'm sorry, when you said just lost a sister, do you mean she passed away? Too much COVID. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Robert. That is, that's tough. That's really tough. Let's see, and I just get, okay. I get so tired. Last thing I'm going to say, I get so tired of people saying that it's not real. So um, once you, once you know somebody that has it or you dealt like something, you know, like what, what Robert says, man, it's, you know, it's, it's not fake and just stay out, stay safe. You guys really stay safe. Um. Okay, back to knives. Let's let's get off that subject because that can be very depressing. So we're coming up on Christmas, which is what, 14 days away? What is today? 14th, 13th. 13th. Oh, wow. 12 days away. That is crazy. Um, I have been lucky enough to, um, and I really haven't done a lot with them, and I should have, but I was, I was lucky enough to... Uh, be gifted some knives for reviews from different companies and um, and also through affiliate links, I have made some money. So I am taking all that money and I'm doing just like everybody else. You know, I it's not for me. It goes directly to the channel. It helps out. And next week, maybe Friday I should post it, huh? Because Christmas is on Thursday this year. Yeah. Maybe Friday, Thursday or Friday, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and post a video on YouTube and um, I'm going to be doing one giveaway on 
Instagram also. And what I've done is I've used the money that I've made off my um, affiliation links and I'm going to be giving back to you guys. So I'm going to let it run for about a week and I'm actually going to pull the winner winners plural on Christmas day. So I kind of missed a couple giveaways for timeframes on my Instagram and my YouTube for, you know, hitting certain numbers. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of make it up to everybody and, and, you know, do a little extra special giveaway on each channel or the, yeah, I guess it would be called my Instagram page, my page and my channel. So give you guys a chance to have something. Uh, Simply Knives wants to know what AR, does AR RPM9 edge retention compare, what does it compare to? And um, since I've only had one small blade in that steel, but I am, of course, a professional, I will tell you it compares exactly to lightsabers. Fucking, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Lightsabers, for freaking, sure. Freaking Marshall. Oh my God, 12 days. That means 11 days from now I have to start Christmas shopping. <laughs> so that sounds about right. That sounds about yeah. right. That's kind of what it's like around here. We Southpaws always adapt. It doesn't really bother me. Okay, so see, there's a lefty there. So what is what is your opinion, Mark, um, on Jimmy Slash yes. already said? Thanks, Chris. I am totally a dork, but you've known that for going on 20 years. Um, what is your opinion on left-handed only knives? So like Jimmy Slash says that he doesn't necessarily need a left-handed only knife, but thumb studs, left -handed handed thumb studs so a liner lock with a flipper is a good knife for a lefty whether the yes. regardless of what size the pocket clip is on yes right uh, a knife with thumb studs can be good for a lefty regardless of what side the pocket clip is on as long as both thumb studs are of equal size and the cutout's big enough to get to them okay so russell's explanation was that it's a long explanation <laughs> But it's more than 14C28 and a tiny bit less than D2, depending on the grind angle. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So it's a good yeah. mid-weight budget steel, but it yeah. also it have to be it's got a really nice fine grain because it's a, it's gonna hold an edge. Because it's a powdered steel. Right. Yeah. I'm looking at unfortunately they've kind of got me because it means that I'm gonna go back and replace all of my CJRBs that I have with versions in our air RPM nine. Hey Lorenzo, you're welcome, by the way. I hope those worked out. I hope they work out. Backlocks are definitely friendly. I have an issue with backlocks. Some of them are, well, it depends on the size of the knife. Yeah, backlocks can be take a little more thumb strength. They the, absolutely uh, can. Yeah, and and Russell just mentioned that, that RPM9 is way more stainless than D2, which is a complete win because I love the retention of D2, but, you know, I go camping and play around in the mud, and D2 sucks for that. Now, somebody, didn't somebody mention the um, the new Artisan lock? Oh yeah, the the new recoil. Mm -hmm. the recoil Somebody lock. mentioned that, and I said I think they said they like it. Yeah, no, it's a good lock. I've got See, I'm totally off there. budget, but off budget knives. But I'm getting. Please don't put an Ozark trail up there. No, Mark. Um, no Ozark trails here. I do, however, have a really old Smith and Wesson. <laughs> <laughs> So to let you know, I used to date somebody who, um, oh, sorry, because I'm leaning the on table. the table. I used to date somebody who, you know, as he called it, collected knives. Um, he didn't collect knives. He had gas station crap. And he was like, I've got all these great knives. I'm like, you know what? You can't sell those things for more than five bucks. They suck. And, and they that, just suck. And, and then she met me and I went, oh, oh he did, did he? <laughs> Well, no, I had I had a couple of good ones when I met you, you know, I just got even more into it. Ozark Trail had ter terrible HRC. Any recoil lock knives with AK RPM 8. AR RPM 8. AR RPM 8. <laughs> he, well, he said AK RPM 8. I know. That's Russell being funny. No, that was Alex. Smith & Wesson. Is my Smith & Wesson sitting... Wow, I can't get this one. This is very sharp for me. I do not have the finger strength for that. There we go. Nailed it. Do you have a recoil? No. Oh. I've decided there's too much budget stuff on the table. Yeah, what are you I've, doing? And I've come to fix it. Then you need to get my Pathfinder. <gasps> that was a birthday present. Okay, we'll put it here. Well, that's just rude. There. Oh, look at me. Look at my Chavez knives. <laughs> la, 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 la. Aren't you just special? 
I am special. I married you. Wow, that's scoring points. That's a sweet budget hinderer. <laughs> hey, guys, got two hinders on the table today under $100. Who wants them? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. They're both under $100. We'll sell them for $90, but shh, don't tell Peter. Oh, darn it. Here he comes. You just hush that noise. This that's right, Chris. It's not budget. <laughs> Marshall said that's him being an influencer. Those have just budget clips. Right. There's my baby. This is this. This is my baby. Talk about a chunky little. Okay, no, not budget. You want to talk about it? I love tacos. I want to talk about how it's thrashed. Did you use the darn thing? How dare you? Um, no, it's not. Hang on, Jason's but... leaving us. Hey, Jason, thank you so much for stopping by tonight, brother. We really appreciate it. I know. Sorry, guys. We're kind of all over the place. We're just having fun. Lorenzo says sold. So which which Chavez do you want for 90 bucks? <laughs> You'll have to fight me for it. But, you know, I'm pretty weak and old. Thanks for coming, Jason. Good to see you, hon. Amazon at eight fifty one hundred fifty dollars. Is there an older version that was slightly altered, then the color slightly changed? No, the eighty ten has been the oh sorry eighty fifteen. Yeah, so there was the green and and silver eighty fifteen was the original that they released, and then uh, shortly thereafter they released an all black one. Um, but you need to be really careful with eighty fifteens because they are all over wish. They cloned the hell out of that knife. Yeah. So really be careful when buying an 8015. Buy it only from a totally reliable source. Russell's ready to throw hands for the Chavez. I, I'm afraid of Russell. He's got more, almost more knives than I do. You know what? I could totally make money off you. How? Having you fight people to keep your Chavez. Oh, no, I'm sad. <laughs> Gas station battle. I'll meet which, you at the gas station on the corner. Which is the fifth from from the top on the left? Fifth. One, two, three, four. This one? That would be fifth. This is the Ferrum Forge Stinger. This is about $90. It's Nitro V, a Nitro V blade, and um, G10 handles. That's you know, light. John, if she pimped me out, she'd have to do it by the pound. Money for WCK? <laughs> uh, um, in what sense, Lorenzo? Making money off him. Otherwise, she's not for sale. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, Farm Forge Stinger. This was actually a gift for my birthday. My birthday was back in October, but um, as some of you know, I was I was down and out. I was still recovering, so I absolutely, totally, and completely forgot that I had birthday gifts. And so, um, yeah, this is this is a super good fidgety knife. It is so fun to play with. I wish the little nail nick. Yeah, you can't. Oh, I can flick it. Woo! You can spidey flick this one, honey, with that. Don't make JB feel with bad. With that little fuller. Pocket check? Well. Oh, yeah. What's everybody carrying? Yeah, pocket check for everybody else. Today I had the. The stinger. The stinger in my pocket. I think I was carrying the stinger today, right? Yeah. Uh, Russell has dug my car to second cousin. <laughs> Marquita, that's funny. Chris already has one of your Chavez's. That's he does. true. Yeah. Can confirm the stinger is amazing. Yeah, our, Russell, this thing is just. So, really, what did you guys carry today? Tell us, because this is what I carried today the Hornet. Hornet 2. This is a freaking Chaparral awesome. Chaparral Lightweight, Kubian Griptilian. Big Red carried a beer. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Or Nitro V and no. No. No, not at all. Ooh, Hogue Deca. I the love Cliff. my Deca. Four Max Scout cannot go wrong with a Four Max in the pocket. E as Ethan, were you the one I was talking to about the LCK? CJRB Mangrove. I love that knife. It's got a funky look to it, but it's great carry. The TRM Adam CF. Oh, the on Rough Z. Rider Red Smooth Bone Peanut. He just had that on his live. Yeah, that's, that's cool a cool little, little knife. Yes. Mangrove. Ch uh, Chad bringing it heavy, carrying the design, the, the uh, SBD void, I can't and the Kubi. Oh, nice. Lisa was carrying her scorpion. Uh, like Sue that Chicken too. had the Rough Rider Dogleg Jack. It's a great knife. Chicago was carrying the uh, the uh, a sack, the Tinker, and a Land 913. I have the nine the 910 somewhere. Chicago, that's a great knife. Um, let's see. It helps other lefties do it 
to it. And art, uh, Russell's <laughs> carrying a prototype. Shut up, Russell. Russell, <laughs> we need, we're coming down next weekend. Uh, let's see. Chris carried my old Chavez and the uh, Hilltop Knives and Gear Modified Yojumbo. That thing is badassery, dude. I love that knife. A Bastinelli Red. Big 90 Bastinelli choice. Red. I'm not familiar with that one. MBK OG sitting next to me. Nice. nice. That's my MBK. Um, New Waypoint. Awesome. Oh, nice. We're going to Russell's next weekend. Oh, nice. Sweet. Oh, and I see she says found her squeaky toy. <laughs> we need Hi. to find her something that doesn't squeak. CRK, T, CEO, and Ganzo. And a Ganzo. What Ganzo, Hollywood? Come here, Lola. Come on. Are you carrying? Lola, come here. Yeah, you know, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm super impressed with these budget Chavez's. No, I'm just kidding. I'm super impressed with all the budget knives that are coming out. Um, did my package, did he send us a JB, package? JB, yeah, it has not arrived yet. Oh, it has not arrived. And JB, your box um, is going out tomorrow. So you're going to be, I had to run down to my car because I, I couldn't find the the Orca. And then I remembered it was in my car. So um, boxed up and ready to go already. You lost an Orca? I lost an Orca. Can you believe that? Anyways, that's coming to you tomorrow. Um Tell me, okay, Pete, it's time for me to turn into a pumpkin here. Y'all be safe and good. All right, John, thanks so much for joining us. Dude, it was awesome to have you. Thank you so much. New Mallory stuff? Tell me more. Right. Yeah, it's going to be cool. I'm excited. I want to see what he's got. For show. Sure. Sell a Chavez to enhance WCK knife budget, laughing out loud. You know, Chris, you, you have probably the singularly most interesting knife collection I've ever seen. First, it's a whole stack of fixed blades. This guy's got a Bark River collection that would make anybody jealous. And then he's got a, a, a Chris Reeve. Yeah. Uh, he's got a Sabenza 21. He's got the Chavez. He's got the, the Hilltop Knives and Gear Modified. Uh, you know, Jumbo. He's got a Modified um, PM2. Uh, and then a whole bunch of cool stuff. And, of course, he's got that enormous and beautiful, uh, the large Espada, the, the, the original one, you know. Oh, there has a Ganzo Fiber 760. That's a great knife. Yeah, that's a really good knife. That's a really good knife. I don't have many budget knives to talk about. So what do you guys want to talk about? Anything you want to know about, you know, the budget knives on the table, not the other ones? Or anything that you guys want to see or anything you guys looked yeah. at recently? Yeah. Or do you, you want me to go down the waiting on my serum 9201? Oh, USPS is really bad right now. To be fair, it's not their fault. Well, we won't go into that. We will not go into that. But Are you, you still cleaning the table? No, I, I am because the cat walked on it and, and got the <laughs> dirt. I can't. All right, let's go down this really quick. Marshall wants to talk about Bear Grylls pee. Well, I have a jar of it that I keep in my emergency go bag because you always have to have some. Yeah, Bear Grylls pee is good. Not like to drink or eat or anything, though. You can use it as pivot lube, and it will heal all wounds. Do you have any two sons? Oh, my God. We have a lot of two sons. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I kind of want to see the action on that Chavez. Which, Which one? one? This one? I, I cannot flip Chavez's. They are way too strong for me. The detent just kills me on those. Or... Big Red's asking, oh, the swag sway back. You know what? I have not had a swag sway back yet, JB. Have you had one of those, Big Red? The left side uh, one. This is the liberation. Like... Yes, you do have a Tucson. You have. <laughs> Where'd you get that Tucson, Chris? Right? He gets everything from you. I'm his pusher. I know. He nope. no, he do. He hooks he he's got me hooked on really good fixed blades and I show up at his house and show him folding knives he has to have. All right, Russell, Mr. Artisan Cutlery. Uh Big Red EDC and I need that uh swag swayback. So if you have one, we come down to visit you. Yes, loan it to we, us. Loan it to us so I can review it and get it straight on over to Big Red. Yeah. Please. please. <laughs> you are yes, Chris. You are, you are not a collector. You are, in fact, you. I got to tell you, man. 
in the um, use your shit category, you are absolutely you set the tone. I have never met anybody who uses his stuff Santa as hard for as my you do. First GEC this year. Oh, I love GECs. nice. I'm not really a traditional guy. Uh, I don't have a lot of traditional knives. Um, I carried them when I was a kid, and as soon as the knife industry left them behind, so did I. But Hold they're on. who me? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Russell, do you have a swayback that we can borrow? I'm totally putting you on the spot right now. You know that, and only because Let's I love you. Let's see if we can give Swags a call. He's gonna try okay. for us. Awesome, thank you. I should just reach out to her. Huh? You should. All right, Robert Fogel, thank you so much for joining me. Are you neighbors? Um, Russell lives, yes, he lives maybe a half an hour from us. So we used to live, um, Sean Hassan used to also live with, by us, Tepe Designs. He has actually moved. And uh, Brian Lai, he is also close to us down here. Um it's kind of, you know, we're in the Bay Area in California, so there there's a few knife designers out here. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a Kaiser. But, you know, hey, JB, or uh, Russell might have one. I'm just hoping. I add M as use your stuff kind of guy to, yes, use your stuff, definitely. Hey, you guys, let's go ahead and look down. Yeah, JB is the for reason for the traditionals. JB has a lot of traditionals, and he has some great ones. Um, and, you know, he he does a lot of giveaways with his traditionals, too, and I think that's awesome. I actually do have one traditional that will be going to my giveaway this year, and it's one that I love so much that I actually bought another one. And this was a while ago, but I've, I've been hanging on to it since, but it's going to be in the giveaway because... You know, traditionals were, were one of my first knives, too, and I just love them. Um, really quick, let me just run down the budget ones that I had out here. Not um, not the Chavez's. You know, we'll go with the Chavez, the $90 Chavez. No, so we have the uh, Civivi X-Arc, which was $50, 9CR18, and G10. It is a liner lock and a flipper. You've got a great deep carry clip on this one. Super fun. This is just a great fidgety knife. Um You've got the Honey Badger, which, did you take it off the table? It's right here. You did take it off the table. The Honey Badger is another great one. It's D2, and it's FRN. This is only $35. I love this knife. This, hey, Mark Carrera is in the South Bay. Dude, thought, we got dude, a let's knife. Get, hook, let's hook up. You, we got to hook you up with Baca, too. Oh, yeah, we got to get you into our knife club. Okay, sorry. Um, So the Honey Badger, this is a really good knife, too. $35, okay? Um, we have the penguin. So, you know, a little bit more. It's $69.99, but this is S35VN and it's marble carbon fiber. I love this knife. It is not just, and I don't know, can you guys, ooh, can you see that? I mean, it is just gorgeous. This is a great fidgety knife, fidgety knife, and everybody loves this knife. Um, on the right-hand side of the budgets, and sorry, I'm having to pick through because, you know, all right, Therapeutic Edge is outside, guys. Highest bidder wins the Chavez. <laughs> this is the Bird, uh, the Bird Crow 2. This is BD1 Steel, G10. I don't remember what this one went for, do you? About 56 bucks. 56, yeah. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with that one either. We've got um, the Sen Cut again is 9CR18. It's G10, uh, $39.99. The Helical by CRKT, $74.99. 8CR13 MLV. So really in this, we're looking at anywhere from $35 to about $90 on, on just the budget line. Um, you know, I don't, you know, you guys, I just, I think the budget lines, like I said, I really think they're doing some good things. I'm actually kind of happy with uh, SendCut and with, you know, we created the Sabivi. Now Sabivi prices have gone way up, but then they created the SendCut line. Right which is now very affordable. And I think that's kind of cool. They're bidding on my Chavez. They're bidding on your Chavez. <laughs> you put it on the table. This was a budget table. See what you did? No, no two Kansas. No oh. wiggle sound effects. Wiggle sound effects on which one? Yeah, the Hornet too is just sweet, Chad. She's catching up reading. Chad, that Hornet is spectacular. $10, 25 Hey, we're up to 29 Well, I don't know. Marshall's getting close. Oh, $50 in the Black Gobi. <laughs> 
Oh, if only he would let me sell Chavez. That's never going to happen. It's like, this is my Pathfinder, my little uh, AD, ADV Pathfinder. Where, where did you get that Pathfinder, I honey? would never sell this one. I got it from you. That's right. It's a special knife. What's your point? Well, I mean, if we're going to talk about selling things, we like to serve. Listen, you put your budget knives on the table. That was your own fault. That's not mine. I'd love to I'd love to be all those are my budget knives. I wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> that would be rad if my collection was like that. No, uh some of these are mine. Um the the uh This isn't. no, That's not. No, that's not. No, that's not. No. That's Yes, not. yes it is. That one's yours? Yes, I thought that one was mine. no. Well, that one's yours. Okay. That was mine. The uh That's the mine. feldspar is mine. That's mine. Yeah. That one's yours. Yes. Well, that one was technically ours. Mine. That's mine. 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 It's Yours. super live. But I thought it'd be fun to share some more expensive stuff on the table too. Yeah. No, I'm okay with You that. know. Where is the big Pathfinder? I don't... You don't have one, do you? I do. Do you? Yeah. Okay, somebody says, where's the big path? Chris does. It's in my knife roll. It's safe where you can't get to it and buy it from him, Chris. <laughs> Let me see the little Pathfinder. Because it's not really that little. I mean, this is... It's not. This is a full size Well, knife. that one and my iron pup are my chunky. The iron pup is a small knife. Yes, That but is a it's tiny still little chunky. knife. Well, it's, it's only in your hands. Man, that's really bright. It is a little bright. It is. So what do you guys like? Out of the budget knives on the table. Nothing Actually, is chunky Marshall, anymore. that's just absolutely the truth. That's absolutely true, Marshall. Yeah, no. Marshall, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome. Marshall has broken the, the bro code. Marshall has to go. <laughs> no, because now he's got the... Well, what what would that be? Not the bro code. Marshall's good people, man. Um, Marshall's one of the people we got to meet out at... Uh, Blade Show West. Actually, we got to meet a lot of these guys at Blade Show West. JB, Zach Stuff, Marshall Law, um, uh, David, Blade Banter. Yeah. And, you know, all of these guys are just, just awesome. Um, this community is really just awesome. I love how everybody's just reaching out and helping. Oh, by the way, there is a uh, raffle, right? Is For, there for uh, Monster Racing. yeah, um, I don't have that link on we, here, yeah, though. we, we met Adrian. Yeah, Adrian. Thank you. Adrian from Damn Designs. Yep. Um, What a spectacular group of people, you guys. It was just so much fun. Dil oh, God, Dylan. Dylan Mallory. Oh, my God. I missed I'm that. just... I'm, I was going to say I missed that little dude, which is not nice, but I missed that guy. See, it's been so long. It's been too long. We actually... Peter and I are actually <laughs> taking... Yes, Nick, too. God, we're so bad. you know, though, meeting Nick was sort of a drive by meeting. I mean, he was he was super nice. He was super cool. But, you know, he's got his own thing going on. He Uh, does. we had our we had a fantastic group for sure at, at Blade Show West. And hopefully, if we can all do what we're supposed to, Next we'll year. have Blade Show West or something like it Yeah. again. But we don't care. We're going to have to road trip. If things calm down some, Peter and I are going to Shabbat, road trip man. up to, uh, up to Oregon. So we're going to try and hit up David, Zach, Yeah. and JB, all you guys. And Marshall, if you're available, I know you're usually pretty busy with work. But, hey, love to see you, too. Just kind of, you know, just to drop in and say hey to you guys. Um Like I said, we don't we don't really go anywhere. We have a friend's house with family, basically, that we stay there. So, um, yeah, we would absolutely love to see you guys. That would be awesome. Uh, Blade Show, yeah, since Blade Show West. Well, you know, Blade Show East. I mean, that's where we got to meet Jimmy Slash for the first time, and we hung out with him, and Dude, that holy was rad. cow, he is such a hoot. And Slicey, Yep. we met Slicey there, too. I But um that was Eric, Eric Holiday from uh, Holiday Leatherworks. Yeah, dude, we met all kinds Dude, of it cool was, stuff. it, I mean, just amazing. You know, if you guys have time and when the, when the Blade shows start coming around again, if you can afford it, I highly recommend going. It's so awesome. And if you do go, if we come up on a Blade show and I let you guys know we're going, oh my God, please come say, hey, I would love to meet you. Um, you know, next year I'll be doing some videos, little, little lives there. And I'd, you know, love to talk to you and. And maybe throw you on the camera with you for a little bit, but uh, Marshall quit for that. Aw, Marshall. Marshall, <laughs> send in the love. yeah big hugs brother don't quit for us though we'll find you Yeah. 
Alex is like, my brother will my brother will start in tonight this Christmas. He's in a multi tools. He wants a CRKT fossil fifty four seventy. It's sealed and can get it for less than forty three. Really less? No, the fossils are great nine. Yeah. Mick. Uh, so hey, Mick. What's I up, did bro? not see you. What's I didn't up, see you come Mick? in. So uh, Blade Show West is in. Well, June. No, that's Blade Show East. Oh, West was in November. Was it? Yeah, it's it's November. If they get a chance to kick it off again, and uh, if they get it rolling, uh, it would be at the end of this coming year. Uh, we'll see. Uh, hey, Mark. So it's funny. We belong to a group called BACA, Bay Area Knife Collectors Association, that in the late 70s, 80s, and early 90s did have knife shows all over the Bay Area. But unfortunately, um, yep, that is a Tucson. And if you ask me the number, I'm going to tell you it's definitely a Tucson. I can't remember the number off the top of my head. Nope. Um. So yeah, man. The, we there used to be Barry and knife shows, but this is just not really that much of a knife show friendly place. Let's it's, start a blade show Bay Area. That would be awesome, Mark. Uh, well, so apparently the people that used to do this will tell you that it's very hard to rent a location for a knife show. Yeah, they they don't really look too highly on that here. You know, it's California. Yeah, Chad, the orange is terrible. Yours is red because you've done the right thing, and I'll get around to it eventually. I like the orange. I know, don't say anything. It you don't. Look, it doesn't look like good on me. One, two, three, seven, five, nine point two. That's right. That is the two sun. This is the one, two, three, seven, five, nine point two. How did you know that? Marshall, you're amazing. Marshall's so good. Is it the two seventy? I don't know. I don't know. Where's your phone? Look it up. How about we start a Blade Show Instagram YouTube edition? You, us YouTubers make a video or two showing budget versions and more up in price. Well, you could actually start that, Alex, if you did a video and then just start an uh, open tag on that one or tag people to show. Because, we've, you know, everybody's done that, and that's actually been pretty fun. Mark says, is that a TS-264? And, you know, it might be, but... Um, yes, Marshall, it's stupid expensive here. Our dog is absolutely having... It is the... two. No, it's the TS-273, uh, the orange handle. And oh, Chad just got it. Yeah, and I don't remember the other one either. I've had the other one for a long time. That's the TS80. That is, that's a Vitesse design. That was, this is real, this knife right here in, in Women Carry Knives Hands is, as far as I'm concerned, when Tucson turned the corner and started making really phenomenal stuff that people just chase after. I can't do these, uh, thumb, whatever they call these ones. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I have to do it with a little bit of a flick, but they're a lot harder for me. I need to chop my nails off again. Um, dude, right, Say Marshall YouTubers. Chad has got the Tucson collection. How do I tag? Say so if you do a YouTube channel or, or a YouTube, is it on Instagram? No, it's on YouTube. You can just do an open tag when you do your um when you do your video, just in the beginning, just say, hey, you know, I'm starting this. The cat's doing the tree. I'm starting this YouTube um video, and ha is it hashtag or just say their name? Right, it can be. Yeah. Hey, Dylan. Dylan, what's up? Your knife was on the table, bud, but it has since moved on. We'll have to go get another one. <laughs> yeah, that is a sick knife. Are you talking about this one, Mark? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is just, let's see if I can do it again. Ready? Nope. Don't cut yourself. There you go. I can do it with a little wrist flick. Yeah, this one is in the, the, the milling on here. Yeah, no, it's just so fantastic. nice. However, since he has joined us, there we go. There you go. Oh, I can't see. You can't see it. No, it's it's hidden. Wait, wait. wait. Let's see. Not that. <laughs> Swipe right for Dylan. Yep. Swipe, Swipe right, right for, for Dylan. Dylan. Woo! Had to run to grocery store before they closed. Back now. Sweet. What'd you pick up, Monster? Some cheese? Did, did you bring me an energy a Monster energy drink? Did, uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, you know, Monster Racing. I have to assume. Even the therapy schedule will be tagged. Uh oh. Right on. Okay. We're always happy to do tag videos. Buffalo Bills win. I had to watch the game on the Spanish channel. <laughs> why did you, why did you have to watch it on the Spanish channel, Nick? I'm guessing it's the only person that covered it. The only channel that covered it. We're at fifty eight minutes. Yep. We're gonna Let's wrap it up here in a live. minute. Second live.
All right, you guys. Wait, well, maybe. Maybe. So here's what we're going to do for all of you that are here. Okay. Tomorrow in the morning when this video goes live, right? Yeah. And it's important that you remember this. <laughs> the magic word. Hi, kitty. The magic word is orange cat, one word. Orange cat. If you comment orange cat, we're going to run a giveaway off this video's comments later in the week. We'll do a swag pack and a little knife or something. But you have to put the, the word, the, actually two words, but it, we're doing it as one word, orange cat, all one word. What are we giving away? Don't know yet. Okay. Type that in the comments for this video once this video loads. And we'll do a giveaway and we'll use that as the secret word. And if you have said the secret word, you get a chance to win. Not now. You got to do it when the video loads tomorrow. Yeah, when the tomorrow. Fire kitty. Fire kitty. <laughs> right? All right. Well, and since, oh, dude, everybody loves our cat. Uh, you guys uh, you guys are awesome, but if you, you do guys it do now, it tomorrow. When, do the, it tomorrow. when the video comes up tomorrow, do it in the comments tomorrow because we're not going to be able to so do it off of these comments. When we, when we wrap this video up, uh, it takes a while to process, and then it populates on YouTube as a video that you can just comment on. Come back, find it, and comment. Whatever you want to say, you guys suck, we think you're funny, whatever it is, plus the word orange cat. I think it'd be funny if they wrote, you guys suck, orange cat. <laughs> <laughs> and and then we'll give away, we'll pick, well, I'll pick a knife out of, out of our stuff. We've got some really nice stuff boxed up. We've got great Hanks. We've got uh, some some just other swag going on. We'll put a little box together and we'll give it away in, uh, mid later towards the end of the week. Just, you don't have to put a hashtag, Mark, or put, no, you don't have to put a hashtag. No, just orange cat. Yeah. Because I can search for that when I, I can search for terms. Uh, fourth one down on the first row. Uh, this row? Oh. I don't care. This one? Pick a Chavez. Any Chavez. All right, guys. Wait a minute. Lacey wants to know. The fourth one down on the first row. So are you talking about this one, Lacey? And hello, Lacey, by the way. Welcome. Oh, hi, Lacey. We're waiting so to delayed. see Lacey. Yeah. No, the one above it. Oh, okay, Lacey. <sighs> so this is my MBK EWC. As... Monterey Bay Knives. Now, this, if Chad is still here, oh, yeah. Chad... K Kanatsar? Kanatsar? I don't even know how to say your last name, Chad. Chad K. He actually, Chad K, he anode this for me. So he actually took this knife. And again, we're inside. This the the lighting in here does not do it justice. There you go. I'm trying to. I'm well, I'm trying to And the colors aren't this is Yeah, the yeah. colors. So I told him I wanted like a purple lightning anode, and that is exactly what he gave me. This thing, I'm telling you, this does not it doesn't do it justice at all. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but that is, he did such a spectacular job on that. <laughs> yes, JB, MBK. We know you love your MBKs too. Robin Crandall. Hey, Robin Crandall. All right, gang. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to go ahead. It's been just over an hour, so don't forget. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, don't forget. Find so, this video tomorrow and comment whatever you'd like with the word, or that one word, one orange, word cat. orange cat. Yeah, Lacey, in, if you if you in, go to my Instagram, by the way, you can see a way better picture of this one. And it's it's women underscore Carrie underscore knives underscore. Good night, Marshall. Yeah. Bye, Marshall. All right, guys. Look for the uh look for this video tomorrow. Comment with that secret word. And uh for those of you that do, you get a chance to win something cool. We don't yeah. even know what it is yet, Let's but we'll what, make it fun. Well, we're gonna put stuff together, so we'll get it done, and then we'll pull the winner Friday, and also Friday my giveaway videos are gonna be going up. So nice. you guys are gonna have three Multiple chances options to, win, to stuff. win stuff. All right, so, guys. Thank you guys, everybody, so much for joining us. Um, it's been awesome having you guys here. We really appreciate it, and hope everybody has a really good <laughs> week. Dog was licking my toes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We'll see Good you night, later. Everybody. Was it fun? <laughs>